guys welcome back to tubes time you're watching our daily vlog series and it is called the daily grind and this is episode number 27 and today we have a slam pack day with a lot of work so stick around and find out what we have going on things first as we're heading out to milk autumn we haven't actually done that in two days and that's a pretty big deal because normally if we skip it all which we don't do very often it's like one day and skipping two days i'm interested to see what kind of milk supply she has going on but with the calf on her it shouldn't have affected her too too bad but i am like essentially an extra calf taking from her um, in the morning time which would cause her body to produce a whole lot more milk so even whenever i miss one day it usually drops her milk production pretty decent bit so we'll see what we get this morning started it off pretty dark this morning come on girls like I said this is gonna be a slam packed day we have to make a run to the trash dump Ew. to dump all the trash from this weekend's wedding then we got to head out to Lowe's for a bunch of supplies I have three doors to build this week. We're super excited about getting those doors built and they are for my woodworking business, the Carved Heritage. But you know, I couldn't just have doors to work on this week as if that isn't already a time consuming enough project. You know, we also have to finish those benches. That's very, very necessary for the ceremony site because some of our other ones are just really need to be replaced like right now and and we also woke up yesterday morning to a not crazy amount of water but just a a decent amount of water underneath our dishwasher <laughs> because a part started leaking long story short after researching it taking the thing apart last night discovering which part i needed the part turned out to be a part that is commonly known to be defective and everyone's ticked that the company has not recalled this dishwasher and all of their dishwashers because of this part and they say you replace the part it's just going to leak again so we're going with a different brand dishwasher and just going to get a really cheap one so i have to pick that up at lowe's along with paint for the benches and along with wood for all those doors I have to build. So it should be interesting. We've got a real busy day ahead. If you ever wondered what a bunch of crackheads look like, there you go. I don't think there is an amount of sweet feed that would actually satisfy these girls. <laughs> i tell you what. That Pippa is doing something. She just barks up a storm all day and all night. <laughs> hey girl, how you doing? She said, I'm wet, thanks a lot. Dad's gotta get back to work. Y'all have a good day. See y'all in the morning. <laughs> I got the dishwasher all disconnected. Now I gotta figure out a way to get this downstairs by myself. Thing is, they're not near as heavy as washers or refrigerator or dryer. About the lightest appliance you can bring upstairs as far as permanent appliances go. wasn't near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You guys, this inflation 
This inflation is real. Check this out. Just last year, I bought the same stuff for $150. Yep. It's insane. So we're going to be going down this way and getting this one instead. <laughs> Did work fairly well, especially since I'm priming it first with an exterior heavy duty primer. And this stuff here is the first level of paints on this aisle that has mildew protection. The really cheap stuff is the storm coat, which I've used it too, but I really don't want to use anything like that on these benches just to have them rot again in a couple years. Well, it looks like wood is finally coming back down a little bit. Thank you, Lord. That was a long morning, <laughs> but we're back. Got our dishwasher, got a bunch of boards to build those doors with, got some plywood that's got to go in the doors, got all of our paint, and the first thing on our list is to start putting some primer on those benches. So let's get rolling. We are going to be painting these benches with this Graco Magnum sprayer. This is an airless sprayer and it works absolutely amazing. This here is going to actually go into the paint bucket. This here is how you actually clean the hose and the pump, which I'll show you all here in a second. I'm about to hook all this up and get rolling. I've also got a man named Adam who's coming by to test the freon level in our ac unit at the house we actually installed the unit in the winter which we were supposed to come back during the spring and check the levels of freon again because uh, according to um, him anything under 60 degrees the readings are very inaccurate and it just gets worse as you get colder and we installed it and filled it up whenever it was about 30 degrees and i'm tired of seeing these high electric bills when we paid all this money to get our house spray foamed so i want to get this out of my head and have him come over here and test the levels and if they're low like I'm thinking they are add some freon so that unit doesn't have to run so long to get the house to temperature each time which should save a ton of money on the electric bill well I just had the AC technician come out he put the lines and the gauge on my unit and it was way overfilled <laughs> he had to drain a lot off but he said that that shouldn't, that does put a little bit extra stress on the compressor, but um, not enough to make it to where that bill should have been what it was. So he said what it does, it does make it pull a little bit of extra amps whenever it's overfilled, but it shouldn't have been even close to the amount of money that they're charging us for that electric bill and i really don't have anything else that i run i mean i have a welding machine i have um my cnc machine but those things don't run all the time and i don't run them didn't run them very much at all this last month and the cnc machine doesn't take any more power than a router or something you know and just not understanding why this bill is ridiculously high. He said with my house being spray foamed in this area and being such a small house, my bill should be 80 to to $100 a month. 250 Not even close. It wasn't even that hot this month. But anyway, we called the power company, told them what was going on, and they sent it over to an auditor that they have and they're gonna look into it and give me a call back and tell me what they think the problem is. My father-in-law got me this 
generator that we're using to power this uh, paint machine over here. That way I don't have to paint right next to the house. The first thing I used it for was out at the barn to run my pump, my milk pump. And that milk pump just, something about it did not run good off of this machine and made the, made the generator and that's what the milk pump was doing the entire time. So I knew I didn't want to use it for that out there. I got a new pump, and then he was like, oh man, you should just sell that one, you know, go get you something else. And I kept telling him, no, I want this one. You rebuild it for me. I'm not getting rid of it. I can use it for my little weld machine. I can use it for all sorts of stuff. Well, here you go, Jerry. I'm using it, and it's working great. <laughs> once I got everything set up got this many painted with the primer so far I need to use my tractor I'm gonna go ahead and move that row to here and then move that far row kind of behind it somewhere because um, I've got to be able to reach it with the sprayer Alright, the benches are all primed up and we are cleaning our machine and cleaning our buckets out. And 
then I'm going to have to unload that truck. It's got all that wood in it and that dishwasher. Drop the trailer off and then put a jack under Jesse's car and start changing her brake so that she can take that thing to Conway tomorrow and we'll get her baby checked on. <laughs> Oh, this is a tiring day. <laughs> 14 benches. Painted in a very short amount of time. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. Well, you see me struggling here in that video because I get in there and find out that one of the pins on the caliper bracket is stuck and that's what caused that brake pad to just rub raw. So, I tried to unstick it to no avail, just wouldn't budge. So, I'm heading to O'Reilly's right now to get another we got our part <clears throat> we ended up having to do because they didn't sell just the bracket by itself they sold the entire caliper with the bracket so we paid the core charge because i do believe my bracket i mean my caliper is just fine and i don't want to give it to them <laughs> so i'm just going to take the bracket off of this and keep the caliper for whenever this one decides to crap out. Yeah, whenever things actually go right, a brake change shouldn't take very long at all. I actually took the other wheel off and changed the brake pads on it in about eight minutes or so. And, uh, but because the other one made me run into town for a part, I don't have time to change the front brakes. Not today. I'm just gonna test these things out real quick. Well, 
Well, not that it wasn't obvious, but definitely fixed the problem she was having. I'm sure these front brakes still need to be changed, but the brakes on the passenger side did not look near as bad. It all stemmed from the driver's side rear having that caliper bracket pin stick, which made the brake stick. So it just sat there and ground on it until it hit the metal. And that's what alerted us to start as a grinding noise when she pulled up the driveway. Good enough where she can go to Conway without having to take my truck, which needs new tires. Those are on its on their way. Should get those changed probably Thursday or something. It's always something to fall around. This day's tiring. Cooperated pretty good. Still like to try and buck me around. Oh well. <laughs> Cody taught me that if I just ah, they go away. <laughs> so that's been working. But Cody's been busy today. So I thought I'd help him do this. Now I gotta go get a pizza out of the oven and enjoy a little bit of time with little man before he goes to bed. What is that? A copper box. Cardboard box, what's in it? A new washer. A new dishwasher, I'm so excited. You and gonna... I have parts. Yeah, I got parts. You gonna help me bring it upstairs? Yeah. Oh it's man, so heavy. it sure is. Why is your face so red? Uh, it burnt all going. Yeah, it burnt, didn't it? Did mama wipe your face with a jalapeno rag on accident? Yeah. Oh, mean mommy. <laughs> I'm just joking. Daddy joking. Asher, what are you eating? Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, all over the couch. <laughs> yep, this here is the kind of meal you eat when you all been working all day. Yep. <laughs> I still got grease on me. I still got dirt on me and the kid. Day. It's been a long one, <laughs> but a good one. Productive one. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, notification bell, and Why? share this video. What do we say? Why? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> you want to say God bless? God bless. God bless you guys. Bye y'all. <laughs>